Welcome to the spoken tutorial on essential nutrition actions for children. In this tutorial, we will learn about the best ways to prevent malnutrition. Essential nutrition actions are preventive approach to tackle malnutrition. They are required during the first thousand days. First thousand days start from conception to the second birthday of the baby. Essential nutrition actions are also known as ENA. For a newborn, the first ENA to be done is delaying the clamping of the cord. The umbilical cord should not be cut immediately after delivery. The nurse should first feel the pulsation of the cord. The cord should be cut when it stops pulsating. Delayed cord clamping allows blood flow between placenta and the baby. This may improve the iron store in the baby for first six months. Doing so prevents anemia in babies during these months. After clamping the cord, the baby should be breastfed. To do so, the baby should be placed on the mother's bare abdomen. A baby is born with an instinctive feeding behavior. With this behavior, it can find the mother's breast and initiate breastfeeding. This entire process is called breast crawl. More about breast crawl has been explained in an another tutorial. Please visit our website for this tutorial. It is important to start breastfeeding within one hour of birth. The first milk is called colostrum. It is the primary source of nutrients for a newborn. Colostrum has infection fighting elements and good fat. Breast milk is also the first source of vitamin A for the baby. Vitamin A is vital for healthy eyes and immunity. Breast milk is enough to meet the vitamin A requirements for the first six months. After six months, vitamin A rich complementary food should be given. For effective breastfeeding, correct latching is most important. Poor attachment of the baby's mouth to the breast will result in nipple feeding. This will give very little milk to the baby. Baby's mouth should attach to the lower part of the areola. This way, the baby will get sufficient milk. Areola is the dark area around the nipple. Breastfeeding techniques are discussed in other tutorials. On completion of 6 months, the baby's nutrient requirement increases rapidly. At this stage, exclusive breastfeeding is not enough. Thus, complementary food should be introduced along with breastfeeding. It should start as soon as the baby completes 6 months of age. 6 months of age does not mean the start of the 6th month of a baby's life. It means she has completed 6 months and has started the 7th month of her life. Also, the quantity and consistency of the food should be changed as per the age. A baby's diet must include different food groups. The first food group is breastfeeding. Grains, roots and tubers are the second group. Legumes, seeds and nuts are the third group. Fourth group is milk products. Meat, fish and chicken are the fifth group. Egg is the sixth group. Vitamin A rich fruits and vegetables are the seventh group. Lastly, eighth group is other fruits and vegetables. Ideally, a baby's diet must include all eight food groups. 
All these foods provide nutrients that help in the growth of the baby. The details of complementary feeding have been discussed in another tutorial. Let us now look at the supplements that should be given to the babies. From 6 months to 5 years, iron folic acid supplements should be given. It has to be given to the babies twice a week by healthcare workers. Vitamin A supplement should be given twice a year. This supplement is given from 9 months to 5 years of age. The supplements should be given under the guidance of a healthcare provider. We will now see ENA to treat a baby having diarrhea. Diarrhea is a major cause of malnutrition. It causes water loss and imbalance of sodium and potassium in the body. In severe cases, infant deaths may also happen. Hence, it is very important to treat diarrhea. ORS and zinc supplements help in treating diarrhea. ORS is oral rehydration salts. It replenishes the water and sodium and potassium in the body. It is easily available in the market as powder form in packets. To use it, mix one packet of ORS in one liter of boiled and cooled water. Along with ORS, zinc supplement is necessary too. Zinc reduces the duration, frequency and severity of diarrhea in children. It improves the immunity of the baby. It should be given once a day for 14 days. 10 mg of zinc per day should be given to the babies below 6 months. 20 mg of zinc per day should be given to 6 months old and above. In a small spoon, dissolve zinc tablets in breast milk or ORS. You may also use boiled and cooled water. ORS and zinc tablets should be given after consulting a healthcare provider. Along with ORS and zinc, less than 6 month old babies should be breastfed. 6 to 24 month old babies should be breastfed and given complementary food. Remember, a baby during sickness should be breastfed often. It helps in faster recovery and weight gain. It also comforts the sick baby. With breastfeeding, kangaroo mother care should be provided to every baby. Kangaroo mother care is also recommended for low birth weight babies. More about kangaroo mother care has been discussed in another tutorial. If the baby is older than 6 months, increase the food to one and a half times. Do this when the baby's appetite comes back during the recovery period. Encourage the baby to eat by offering a variety of foods. Give her type 1 and type 2 nutrient-rich food as per her hunger cues. More about type 1 and type 2 nutrients has been discussed in another tutorial. In severe conditions, the mother should consult a healthcare worker immediately. Healthcare workers should refer the severely malnourished babies to the NRC. NRC is a nutrition rehabilitation center. It is a unit for restoring the health of severely malnourished children. This center provides specialized nutrition therapy to babies. It makes them ready for home cooked food if they have completed 6 months of age. It also educates mothers about breastfeeding, child nutrition, and child care. Follow the essential nutrition actions to keep the baby healthy. They also help in preventing malnutrition in babies. 
This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining.